Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hello, how are you? How's everything? Um, so today I figured I would do something um, sort of similar. We um, talked about in a, um, not the last video, but the one before that, um, I made, I altered some um, notebooks that were blank inside. Um, and I'm doing the same, uh, another set of books, um, but I'm not doing the collage because I did a little bit of collage in the last one. I'm not doing that in this one. I'm going to do something a little bit different. Um, I mean, more along the lines of what I do in my um, abstract art um, and stuff like that. Um, Ozzy says hello. Say hi, Ozzy. Say hi, Ozzy. No, don't want to. He doesn't want to say hello. Um, he, he's just busy doing cat things, I guess. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And um, yeah, there's not much else to say. Um, my cat needs to lose weight. He's a little bit tubby. I don't know what to do about that. Um, I got to put him on a diet, I guess, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, on to the video. Okay, so I've got this book here. And um, I started working on it a little bit. You can see I did some kind of background uh, details. Um, but I'm not really completely satisfied. Um, so I've got this paint palette thingamajig to put paint in. I'm going to use a little bit of this um, acrylic paint and put some... Oh, that made a funny noise. I'm gonna use a couple different shades of blue all together. I have also this other shade of turquoise. I'm gonna be using that one as well. Put a little bit of that in there. And a little bit of this color blue. Put that right in there. Okay, so I've got uh, some paint brushes here. Um, I'm not really sure uh, which one I use. I'll use, but I like this one. Um, I think this is um, not. Um, it's like artificial hair. It's not real hair. Um, so I'm gonna see how I'm going to. This is obviously the cover, right? And um, I'm gonna try to decide what I'm gonna do. I'm obviously painting over this. It's gonna be a whole different uh, kind of thing altogether. So I'm gonna take a little bit. Oh, well, it would help if I did the right side of the paintbrush, Diana. Um, I'm gonna take a tip and use a little bit of that. Hmm. Hopefully you can see. So what else has been going on in my life? Let's see. Um, yeah, not a whole lot. Um, just, I have some paintings that are gonna be up. If any of you are in the Ohio area at uh, 78th Street Studios, I believe, Ramparts. If you look up Ramparts on uh, Facebook, You'll uh, find them. I have a few paintings that are going to be um, on display there March 15th if you feel like going. You totally should. So this is what it then looks like, uh, the finished kind of deal. Um, since it's got another side here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint the the I'm gonna paint the back a little bit because I don't like that blob there, um, so it looks a little bit nice. And then the person can use whatever side they want to. I 
I've been on this mission. Um, you know, some of you might know, um, if you know me personally, you might know that I crochet and I knit, but I mostly crochet more than I do knit. And um, so I've been telling myself that I'm only going to use the yarn uh, that I have and I'm not gonna buy any more. While this is quite easy to do when you are broke, it's not so easy um, when you've got a little bit of money. But it's very easy to do when you're broke. When you're broke, you're totally like, well, I can't afford any yarn, so fuck my life, I'll just, you know, whatever, I'll use what I got. And then when you start looking through and seeing what you have, you're like, holy shit stains. Like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? It's crazy, because you, then you realize, like, oh, wow, like, you know, I have a lot of shit. Um, I can't find my brayer, which is why I did that, because I like to use my brayer. And I'm going to do it on this side, too. Screw it. I like to press it and lift off some of the paint um, so that it looks more distressed, more like old or something. I don't know. Yes, thank you. That's my crow. If I don't say that, then he just keeps going and going and going and going and going and going. Um, so there's that, right? Now, um, now I have to decide, thank you, what I'm going to do next. See, I can't, I can't even talk. Um, I gotta decide, maybe I'm cranky. I don't know. Um, I think I'm cranky. Um, I'm going to do some white here. So I have this white paint. And uh, I'm going to use a different brush. I'm going to use this brush right here. And dip it in a little bit of water. And um, what I'm going to do is put a little bit of white right here. I like how that looks so far. I'm gonna be selling these March 15th at that uh, um, exhibition that I just mentioned. Um, and whatever, and then whatever I don't sell, will go um, on my website for sale. So now whatever I don't sell um, will be going um, for sale. I might just put them up on my website for sale anyway. And um, and then, you know, if, any, if I have some in stock, I'll bring them um, March 15th to Ramparts. Um, so I've got this little cloud and I'm just kind of going over it a little bit more. There we go. So I've got this cloud like this, 
and um, see what I'm going to do next. I got to wait for the paint to dry. So while I wait for the paint to dry on that one, I will work on the next one. This is the cover uh, right here. And again, I have like a messy kind of background. So um, I'm going to wash my paintbrush and I'm going to reach for my gold. And this is gold paint by DecoArt. I've used it a lot, so you know you can tell that it's been used quite a lot. Um, I like DecoArt. They're inexpensive, but they work. Uh, their paint works really, really nicely. Um, I'm just gonna go in over here, like on the top. just gonna make some little clouds. My process um, is pretty simple. Um, you know, when I am blocked creatively, I have a whole ritual that I do, because uh, I'm a firm believer that you should be creative every single day. I, um, I shout this from the rooftops because to me, um, it's really, really important that you practice your art, your creative process, you know, every single day. I just feel like, you know, it's a duty that you have, you know, to work on it and to work at it. And then a lot of artists that were not self-taught, I mean, artists that have been like, you know, painting since they were little kids, um, it's very common to hear them say, oh, I just, I haven't been feeling it. Well, I mean, that's kind of like, you're not gonna wait, I wouldn't wait for some moment when I magically, somehow all the stars were aligned and I magically felt like painting. And it's just not the way it's gonna work always, you know, uh, for me, you have to work at your art anyway, even when you don't feel like it, you know? Just draw the things that you see in the world around you. Draw, you know, um, I forgot how stupid Sookie is. She's just dumb. Like, they make her character absolutely, like, just dumb. So, I don't understand why. They have to make the female characters always so stupid. Like, I like that at, towards the end of the series, you know, they give her some... She becomes sort of the hero or whatever in a, in a way. But they kind of like make her a little dumb and slutty for my taste. You know. So that's my thing. I just didn't, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all, but it is what it is. There. So this is what this looks like. I know it's sort of hard for you to see. The sun is like doing stupid things, so you can't really see too well, but it's a lot of, it's a lot of white anyway, so. That's all it is. But once this dries, um, you'll be able to see things a little bit. I'll show you a little bit better um, what's going on with that. So you have really a duty, you know, to your art. It's important that you work at it and uh, just sketch, draw, do whatever, but make sure that you keep yourself um, active. You know, don't let days, weeks, or years pass by. So this is what it looks like right now. Um, not sure, but I'm gonna leave it that way for a minute. I'm gonna add another color. 
And I think I'm gonna use this dark blue. If I could get the damn jar to open, fuck. It's not even like, ugh, you know, like I'm having a really hard time opening it. So I'm gonna move on. Um, all right, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna use this really nice um, purple color. It's called Wild Iris. Um, Apple Barrel makes it. And we're just gonna put a little bit in here. I'm gonna put some paint down. There we go. So I've decided to go over this like that. So now for me, you know, like I was saying, I think try to keep practicing your art every day. And what I do is when I'm feeling like I don't feel like, you know, creatively inspired, you know, I'll do something like I'll look on Pinterest, um, maybe go to a museum. You know, if I'm um, back home in the East Coast, um, or just like look through an art book that I have, um, look for art that, you know, kind of inspires you and look at it, um, and start doing something else creatively. You know, start working on a different medium altogether. And um, that might help you feel you know, more uh, kind of creative. It, it might make you feel um, a little bit better about like then going to your canvas or, you know, your medium of choice. So this is how it looks right now. Again, we have to wait for the paint to dry for this one as well. So we're gonna move on to the third one. Now, this, I think this is the cover. Yeah, this is the cover. Um, so, a lot going on. Uh, I'm gonna do some red. Uh, Deco art chalky finish. I like chalky finish paint. I like how it looks when it's dry. I'm gonna use the same paintbrush I was using just now. And this little paintbrush. Um, sure you can see everything. What I love about abstract art is that it's very forgiving. You know, if you make a mistake, there's really no mistakes in art at all. But, you know, if you, do, if you don't like something, you can always paint over it. Um, I'm not trying to make, like, I'm not trying to go into, like, a, I'm going into a lot of detail for for uh, notebooks that are really going to be sold for maybe $20, $25, but it's more important to me that the cover of um, this notebook be something that somebody wants to pick up and wants to fill up with artwork, you know, that they want to do something sort of unique and and you know you you look at the at the I want you to look at this notebook when you buy it and um, make it sort of part of your creative stimuli you know something that you know you you want
want to pick up your brushes or, you know, your pen or, you know, whatever, and, um, and work on your art. You know, I, I want you to feel inspired. To me, that's, you know, really important. Um, so I've got this. Um, I'm going to go on the top and do a little bit of white there with the same, um, not with the same paintbrush because um, it's got too much red on it. Um, all right. Looks like it's time to change my water, so I'm gonna do that. Finally, I figured out the right position for my uh, camera. Um, so we've got this here. Um, I like a nice combination of like blue. I feel like blue goes really well with pink and um, reds and things like that. Um, I'm going to go over it with this red color here. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm going to try I realize it's going to look very red, white, and blue, but it's, but it's not going to be like that, um, for too long. So I'm doing this and you get to listen to the birds outside. I have a window open. And he seems to love the attention. Getting me pissed off is one of his favorite things to do. Um, so that's what this looks like right now. Um, let's see. While this waits to, while we wait for that to dry, we'll go over this one, which I'm also gonna use a little, little bit of red here, and then I'm gonna do something different over here. Thank you! Thank you very much. <coughs> Arguing with the birds seems futile, doesn't it? <laughs> On to the next. So we've got this here and um, this is all dry. So what I'm gonna do here, what I'm gonna do here is go over it. Um, no. Uh, with maybe a little, a little blue actually. Um, and then I'm gonna do purple. There. Okay. Not really. I disagree. Um, okay. So we're gonna take some of this purple here, and um, reason I'm um, oh I forgot I was gonna do blue there, wasn't I? Oh well. Well, it's all right. Um, then I'll just do blue up top. Can you see it though? I'm worried that you might not be able to see that very well. Cause you know what I mean? Like the blue stands out in contrast with the, yeah, I don't know. 
I guess if it doesn't work out, you know, it the, you know it doesn't work out. But I can always paint over it. But we'll see how this looks. I think the bird was just a little hungry because birds seem to like that. So this is what this looks like. I finished it all. Um, I'm not really that crazy about it. I'll be honest. Um, but before I move on to the next one, let's do this. Um, so this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take some blue. I'm gonna take this shade of blue. And um, I still had some red on my brush, so it kind of makes it an interesting color, but it doesn't really do much to the, to the color, actually. So I'm gonna go on the top here. So that's what I'm doing. I think it looks okay. We'll see. Uh, I think it's time to change the water again. So clean water again. I've got some pink. Um, Let's see. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take the end of my paintbrush and dip it and do this. And just keep going. What's your favorite snack when you got when you guys are um, painting or working on um, your creative medium? <clears throat> my snack, honestly, it depends on my mood, but for the most part, I love Doritos. Doritos and coffee. And nobody gets it. Nobody gets it. Everybody thinks it's, uh, you know, leftover remnants from pregnancy foods, but it's not. All right. So I did all these dots. It's totally not. I think Doritos and coffee look great together, taste great together, because I like the, the contrast between the salt and the sweet. So um, this is this. Um... I'm going to wait until it dries and then I might add a little bit of gold here um, or here perhaps and then a shade, um, a darker shade of blue. Um, but I've got to wait for the paint to fully dry on this one. So while we do that, we will move on to this one. Um, I want to feel like this one is actually almost done. I feel like it makes the statement I want it to make, but just to be safe, um, I mean, just to be, you know, just to make sure, I'm gonna take this blue, And I'm just gonna make a teeny tiny cloud. And um, what do you guys do with the leftover paint that's in your little, these things? 
trays. I uh, usually take them and I go over um, canvas with them, like I um, start another painting. Because I don't like to waste any paint at all. You know what I mean? Okay. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to take some um, purple and do what I did in the previous one, but only on this side, not up there. Of course, Oswald has made his appearance. You can't see him, but I can. He, um, he was <coughs> smelling the chips. I guess they finished eating the chips. So now it's back to torturing me. You ever notice how cat owners totally acknowledge the, um, the fact that their cats are assholes, but other dog, dog owners or other pet owners act like their animals can do no wrong and you know that they're frail little weak human beings. Um, okay, so we got this. I liked the way it looked that way, yes, but I also like it that way. That looks really cool. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what to uh, do here. I'm gonna try adding a couple more. I'm not gonna add too many up on top, just a you and that's it and what I'm gonna do is where's my other one I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna do this mm. there. Like that. And you can't see it haha <laughs> there we go so Almost. Um, not sure. Uh, I'm just going to leave this one, put it to the side, and I'll start working on this one now. I got a little pink in there by mistake, so I guess what I'll do is I'll uh, put a little pink in there. So this is looking pretty cool so far, I think. Um, so yeah, Doritos and coffee are my thing. What I do is I don't dip the So I've decided I'm gonna do something here, put a little pink there. I think that that will hopefully put everything together and make everything kind of, because I'm trying to find a way to make everything kind of come together, you know? So that's what I'm trying to do. And not make it look like an American flag or something, because I mean, you know, not that I, Not that I mind, of course, but you know. There. I like that. 
So let's put a little bit more pink here. I'm sorry I'm so quiet all of a sudden. I just, um, yeah, that. Um, there we go. I think this is done now. Maybe. Yeah. I think so. All right, that one's done. And, uh... Actually, this one's done. So I'll show you all the ones that I made. So we did this one. That looks cool. And then that one, which is pretty cool. And then that, which is also very cool. So the rest of this paint, I'm going to um, work on a canvas with, but yeah. So this is what they look like. I really like them. That's one. That's the other. And that's the other. All right, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in. And um, don't forget to like and share and subscribe uh, to my channel. And um, again, uh, as always, I will have full color pictures and everything up on my website. Um, they won't be listed for sale yet, but um, if you want to purchase one, uh, simply comment um, below on the video and um, I will reach out to you. Um, yeah, that's it. Don't forget to go to my website, thecraftaholic.com. And uh, yeah, thanks. Bye.